Well, some Republicans have been voicing some new concerns that Democrats may use a lame duck session uh, after the elections, if that turns out to be the case for them, to jam through some controversial bills in Congress before newly elected successors take their House and Senate seats in January. Joe Trippi was Howard Dean's campaign manager as well as a Fox News contributor these days. Good to have him. And Chris Wilson is a GOP pollster. So, uh, gentlemen, welcome uh, to both of you. Uh, Joe, let me start with you. What do you make of this claim uh, and the folks that it's coming from? I think it's great posturing for the November elections, but it's ridiculous. I mean, they, it, it, the Republicans will still have uh, the ability to filibuster and stop any real action in the Senate throughout any shortened lame duck session. So uh, with what the limitations they put on the Democrats throughout this, uh, you know, throughout this first uh, uh, midterm, it, it, nothing much is going to get accomplished in a, in, a, uh, in, a, in a lame duck session unless the Republicans want to make it, let it happen. Yeah, Chris, you know, that, that's what uh, Democrats are saying, that this is, you know, sort of bluster, chest thumping, I think is what uh, Jim Manley called it in Harry Reid's office this morning, that Republicans are basically trying to scare folks into thinking that, you know, the Democrats are going to ram through cap and trade and an energy bill and all of this controversial stuff uh, in the months that fall between November and the first of the year. What say you? Well, I'm not sure what Republicans would have to gain from that. It's not, there's nothing to be done about that leading up to the elections. But I do think the reaction to this is a little bit surprising. Rather than just say, hey, there's no way we'll do that. We will hear what the voters had to say. The reaction from Democrats, and you mentioned Harry Reid's chief of staff had this reaction this morning, is more along the lines of, well, there's no way we could actually do it even if we wanted to. Why not just come right out and say, no, this isn't going to happen. We're going to listen to what the voters say, and we'll act on what the voters have to say. And if they say no more wacky liberal legislation, no more tax and spend policies, then we'll stop. Yeah, you raise it. But rather than that, they say, oh, we can't. Point. Yeah, Joe, that, that's an interesting point. I mean, would it behoove Democrats to come out at this point and say, you know what, cap and trade is off the table right now. We're not, we know that's not going to pass. We have economic concerns that are, are first and foremost. We want to cut the deficit. We want to do this. I mean, couldn't they do themselves a bit of good in these coming elections if they did just that? Well, I, look, I think there's two things. Obviously, there's an agenda that Democrats would like to get passed. It's not going to happen in a, in a lame duck session if the Republicans don't like what we're trying to do. They've shown that throughout this session. There's no way it's going to happen in a lame duck. The more interesting thing is, is if the Republicans do get a majority in the House and Senate, do they let some of the things that they don't want to deal with in the new session? In other words, they don't want to, uh, to muck around with taxes or cuts. Do they let it happen in the lame duck session so it doesn't happen on their watch? The, there are different things that can happen in a lame duck session, most of them not having anything to do with what the Republicans are claiming right now. All right, Chris, one point, one reaction to that uh, suggestion. Well, I think w my greatest fear here is that they do try and do something about deficit reduction, which for Democrats doesn't mean spending cuts. It means massive tax increases. And if they were, if you already looked, they're, they're trying to, they were going to let the Bush tax cuts expire. If they then go try and push through some sort of deficit reduction and say, oh, we're going to increase taxes because we did hear what you say, that's the greatest fear of all. And I, I do, and, I am concerned about the ability of Republicans to stop that. And for, well, well, you're right. They would have to have, it would take a few right. Northeastern Republicans to, to help. Which, it. I which, mean, which might let them do it because the, the, the Republicans may let, let that happen because yeah. they won't want to have, it, well, have to do it themselves and deal with deficit reduction for real uh, on, right. on their own terms later on. Gentlemen, thank you very much. The big battle over how to fix this economy uh, is the main thing. And I think you know, a lot of voters are going to want to hear people talking about that uh, more than some of these other issues, perhaps. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much. Chris, good to see you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, as Mark. always, we want to know, of course, as always, what you guys at home think about all of this.